recent study, 44% of employers indicated that they had no strategy or were underprepared for the aging workforce. We know in the next four decades, there's going to be a 50% increase in the, in the people over 65 in the workforce. So what does the aging workforce actually mean for you? Well, it's quite simple. When you start off, you start as an infant, your capacity increases at about around the age of 30. From there, you're slowly diminishing your capacity. Now let's say, for example, that this line here represents work both the physical and mental demands required to perform your role up to the level you need without getting injured. As you can see, as time goes on, the gap between someone's physical capacity and the requirements of their job increases. So what does this gap ultimately mean for you as a business? What it means is that the risk of someone becoming injured increases. Now what we know is that the amount of people who are here and now moving to here and moving to here. So, businesses are significantly underprepared for the shift in the percentage of people they have that are getting older and older. And therefore, the risk or the gap is widening between the physical capacity and the job that they want to do. Now ideally, yes, we'd assume that we can make the work easier and bring that line down to here. But as we see, many places actually can't make the work any easier at this point in time. So the question then is, how do you reduce that risk and what are you doing about it? Because we know that once people get here, it's very, very hard to reverse and it takes time to increase people's capacity. So the question to you as a business is, how are you going to deal with this capacity gap? How are you going to deal with people moving from being physically able to older and less able compared to their work? And what strategies are you putting in place now to protect yourself for the future?